The funny thing is, I always thought I had a really hot body. <laughs> like, when other women bitched about being too fat or whatever, I never felt that way. I know it wasn't perfect, but I always thought it was nice. I liked being naked, you know? I enjoyed having sex with the lights on. And then I met Mitch, uh, my boyfriend, I mean, and... He has all these issues with, well, you know, sex. Um, and sometimes, but not all the time, but most of the time he couldn't get an erection. And after it happened a few times, he said maybe it was because I wasn't his type physically, because I had such small breasts. And <laughs> at first I thought it was ridiculous because no one else has ever had a problem with them. But then he said something about not normally going for brunettes. <laughs> His mother, by the way, is the voluptuous bottle blonde. Fat. Really? Oh, she's fat. <laughs> but anyway, it went on like this. He was in love with me, but there just seemed to be something wrong with the way that I looked. So... First I lightened my hair, because well, at a certain point who doesn't? <laughs> but then I started noticing other women's breasts. They, they're also much bigger and more luscious than mine. I couldn't believe I'd never noticed before how depleted I was in that area. It seemed like every man I'd ever had sex with must have been very nice to act as though I had a nice body when in reality, they were horribly disappointed by my sad little tiny breasts. I used to think that there were a million ways to be beautiful. And now it seems impossible. Like, every tiny mark, scar or mole on my body is like a betrayal. <laughs> like. That's the reason this has happened to me, and that's the reason why I can't be happy. I used to be the only woman I knew who loved her body, and now I'm just like everyone else. 